The big A-level reaction, however, is the reaction of amines with nitrous acid. Now, nitrous acid, which is a nitrogen three acid or a nitric three acid, which I don't like, just call it nitrous acid, is HNO2. Now, you will not walk in a lab and see a bottle labeled nitrous acid, because the way you make it is you take nitrate, which is NO2 minus. So here's a nice Lewis structure of nitrate. And you just react that up with a nice strong acid, hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, etc. And you make the nitrous acid. So nitrate, nitrite, excuse me, plus HCl or sulfuric acid makes nitrous acid. Now, of course, nitrous acid is a relatively weak acid, but you've still got a nice strong acid in there. And so the strong acid will protonate that weak acid. So we get this species here. OK, here's nitrite, which is a base. Here is the conjugate acid of nitrite, nitrous acid. And then here is the conjugate acid of nitrous acid, which I don't think has a name. But anyway, when you look at how I've drawn this structure here, I hope that something will leap out at you. We've effectively got a water there. So if we move a few electrons around, one of those lone pairs on that oxygen popping up here uh, to bond to the nitrogen, so the nitrogen can say farewell to a water, and you end up with this species. Follow the electrons. Lone pair of electrons from the oxygen here. So now that oxygen develops a plus. The nitrogen, because it's making its extra bond with this oxygen, can tell this oxygen to get lost. And you make this species here. Now, of course, this looks fine, except you've got an oxygen that's got the formal positive charge bonded to a nitrogen. And while nitrogen is nice and electronegative, oxygen is even more so. And so what oxygen will say is, I'm not going to have this positive charge. I'm going to grab some of those electrons back and we'll put the positive charge on you, on the nitrogen. And this makes the so-called nitrosyl cation. OK, very reactive species. That's that positive on the nitrogen. Nitrogen doesn't like positives either. Can't do much about it within the molecule because it's with the oxygen. So it's going to want to react quite happily. Now, I should point out, because this comes up in later ideas, that this species here, whether you draw it with the triple bond or whether you draw it with the double bond here, is isoelectronic to carbon monoxide. And that gives it some very important reactivity comparisons that we will discuss later on. But anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about amines. So let's think first of all about a secondary amine reacting up with this nitrosyl cation. So in other words, take a secondary amine, react it up with sodium nitrite and then hydrochloric acid, which gives you this nitrosyl cation. Well, of course, amines are nucleophiles. They've got those lone pair of electrons and nucleophiles love pluses, pluses, and here's a big plus on this nitrogen. So we'll make this species here. Nitrogen now is lone pair of electrons makes the bond to the nitrogen of the nitrosyl cation. OK, this nitrogen now has a formal positive charge on it because it's used up its lone pair of electrons to make a bond. Well, at this point, and we're not going into it, but essentially a water will come along and deprotonate this species. You lose that hydrogen. And so we end up with this species here. The hydrogen's gone. The electrons from that nitrogen-hydrogen bond back on the nitrogen, so it's happy. And we got this particular compound, which is called a nitrosamine. Nitrosal amine. OK, now these are really, really, really nasty molecules. They're uh, extremely carcinogenic when they're formed. A lot of good research has been done on them, how to um, react them up, how to use them up when they appear and so on. They're produced in quite a lot of industrial processes. One that leapt out at me was they're produced in leather tanning and so give rise to an awful lot of those industrially based uh, cancers. However, we're not overly interested here in the chemistry of nitrosamines. I just point them out as a product when secondary amines react with the nitrosyl cation. Think about primary amines now. So here's a good looking primary amine, just the one R group, lone pair from the nitrogen. Nitrosyl cation comes up, lone pair from the nitrogen, 
not going to draw this species here. I'm just going to go straight to the nitrosamine. So notice here exactly the same type molecule, the NO species bonded to the nitrogen. Now that nitrogen's got one R group and a hydrogen on it. Now, instead of having two R groups, it's got one R group and this hydrogen completely changes the reactivity. This nitrosamine that came from a primary amine doesn't stay together at all. It will react very, very, very quickly, go through several intermediates to end up with this species here. So again, you lose the oxygen, you lose hydrogens, it protonates, it deprotonates, it loses water and so on throughout the mechanism. And you get this so-called alkyl for the R group, diazonium, that's when you have the alkyl group bonded to this nitrogen, nitrogen unit here. And of course, it's a cation. Now, an alkyl diazonium cation is extremely unstable. Pretty much, you don't isolate any of these. When you take a primary amine, react it up with nitrate and HCl, so you've got the nitrosyl cation, you get supposedly the alkyl diazonium cation, but that immediately loses N2 and leaves behind, I've drawn it as an R+, plus, the carbocation that you would have at the end. Now, of course, we talked about carbocations before. Sometimes when you've got a secondary or a tertiary carbocation, you can say, oh, look, there's a carbocation. If it's a primary or even worse, a methyl carbocation, we don't say it's carbocation, which is why I've drawn it in um, apostrophes here in quotes. Okay. However, it doesn't really matter because A, I'm not going to talk more about it, but B, it's so reactive, of course, it's a reactive intermediate, and so it might react with the water you've got there to make alcohols, it might eliminate to make alkenes and so forth. Okay, so really a kind of goofy reaction. You take a secondary amine and you nitrosate to make the nitrosamine, and you're going to give people cancer. You take a primary amine and you nitrosylate it, well then you're not going to get anything except a whole mess of products.